Honey, it's time to get up. dress will go with this. Wake up, sleepyhead. Piss off and close the door, Mike. Ooh, somebody's on the rag. It's downstairs in 10 minutes. We got work to do. Hey, and don't forget to change out your gloves this time. Oh, thank you, Mike. Come on. Don't hate me because I'm so talented. Morning. Good morning. Play lands in an hour. Who's hungry? Mm. He also cooks. How's it going? We're staying another week in Hawaii because we're having such a good time. Ah, oh, the best is yet to come. my inhaler. You okay? Yeah, yeah. No, it's the smog's already getting to me. Where'd you folks go? Hawaii. Oh, I love it there. I sold a painting for my client, and the buyer lives in Maui, so he flew us over to deliver it. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the trip, April? April? I was asking what your favorite part of the trip was. Coming home. Good to be back. I thought Peter was going to water these. Oh, I, uh, I told him just to collect the mail. That's not good. The alarm's off. I know I turned it on before we left. Maybe it malfunctioned. Welcome home. Let's see your hands. Don't move. Who are you people? Who are you? Phone. Walk. Come on. You don't have to do this. Just, just take what you want. Thanks. We will. Stay here. Make yourself comfortable. Sit you down. Can take, you can take the money. Sit down! You're broke. We already checked your bank accounts. We actually have more money than you do. Yeah, I thought all rich people knew what to do with their money. No, they're stupid. And they put all their passwords in one book. 
That's easy to find. Yeah, all you Wall Street types here. So busy hiding what you got and what you don't got. What else are you hiding, Brian? How do you know my name? Oh, we know a lot of things about you. About all of you. Why are you wearing our clothes? Oh, Lisa. What a shame. You live this big, perfect life. But it's all just a lie. Or maybe Brian should have been more careful with your investments. Your closets and drawers are full of expensive crap. But you're empty inside. None of this makes you happy. But you just want more. You're pathetic. I don't know why you spent so much money on that rag. But I guess even rich folks are suckers. Why the long face, little Miss Perfect Princess? Looks to me like you've got it made here. By the way, I love your little trophies. But I'll bet everyone at school secretly thinks you're a stuck-up little bitch. I don't know, honey. I kind of like that rag. You know, you are far more attractive in person. Those pictures don't do you justice. Back off! Back off! Oh, no. You back off. And you. You're gonna do exactly what I say, okay? Mm. Hey. It's enough. Yeah, I'm just playing around now. Are you expecting someone? No. Get up. Go get it. Get up. Let's go. You, sit. Both of you. Come on, honey. Sit down. That's our neighbor, Peter. He, uh, he collected the mail. We'll get rid of him. Or we will. You make any indication and everyone dies. Hey, hey, Peter. Hey. Bet it sucks to be back in the heat and smog. Yeah, 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 it sure does. Uh, wasn't much. Uh, bills mainly, sorry about that. So, how was your trip? It's good. You know, it never, never lasts long enough. Everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, you know, we're a little frazzled from the, uh, from the flight. Oh, yeah. Business class can be pretty rough, huh? <laughs> All those free drinks really make you miserable, don't they? Yeah. Hey, you sure you're okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, we still have to unpack, so, uh, so I want to... Thanks. Thanks again, Peter. Yeah, sure. Good work. Is he gonna be a problem? No. Good. Please, just take what you want and go. There's no need to traumatize my family anymore. Oh, but Brian, we like being with you guys. Your beautiful house. You're such a good host. Yeah, Brian. You're such a good host. April, no! Hey, Get I will splatter your brains all over these walls. Now sit. She must deserve all those trophies she can really run. I'll take her, you take him. Are you okay? Tie her up. Be my pleasure. 
You too, move. I got him. Get the laptop. Sit down, Look. Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Sit. Stop it! Look, I'm, she won't do it again, okay? I promise. Please! I promise. I know she won't. God. It's okay. You got a famous Lisa. That big sales all over the trades. Oh, I'm surprised you can read. You'd be surprised a lot of things we can do. If I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Can't believe somebody actually paid $675,000 for that piece of crap. My daughter can paint better than that. Sure can. I told you not to mention the sale price in the interview. I always thought it would help the gallery. Yeah, well, look what it brought. I mean, God, the world is filled with scum who are just looking for some way to just to get, get one over on someone. Are we going to have these kind of problems when we're rich? Gee, honey, I hope not. <sighs> look. Besides my commission, this money belongs to my client. I don't care who it belongs to. You're gonna call the bank manager and get it in cash. There's a hold on the check. They're never gonna release it that quickly. They know you, and your gallery is a good client. Make it happen. Do it. Hurry up. Set it down, put on speaker. Good morning to Hunga Valley Bank. Mr. Buckley's office. Hi, uh, this is Lisa Stiles. Is Mr. Buckley available? Hello, Mrs. Stiles. Let me check. At the Hunga Valley Bank, we offer a wide range of business services to help keep your business. Mrs. Stiles, please hold for Mr. Buckley. Mrs. Stiles, how are you? I'm well. How can I help you today? Uh, I, uh, I need to withdraw uh, the money from my gallery account in cash. Okay, um, let's, uh, see the balance here. $675,000. Uh, Mrs. Stiles, I'm sure you realize that's a lot of money to, uh, withdraw in cash. This deposit only came in two days ago, and there is a seven-day hold. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Could you uh, uh, please find some way? I, uh, I've been a client for a long time, over, over 10 years. Yes, yes, I, I know, and we appreciate all of your business. It's, it's, it's a very large sum of money, and we have to follow our procedures. May I ask why you need it in cash? I sold a, a painting for my client, and she needs her portion in cash. I, I see. Mr. Buckley, what can we do? Okay, um, I can release half of it early. That's 340000 Would that help? Yeah, yeah, yes, um, it will, thank you. Now, now um, unfortunately, we don't have that much on hand in the branch. I will have to order it. How soon do you need it? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay, that's, uh, it's gonna be difficult. Mr. Buckley, I, um, I really need this to happen. Yes, Miss Stiles, I, I, I hear what you're saying. Well, if I, if I put the order in now, maybe I can do it. Um, but I'll, I'll have to call you back later today, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. You better pray he comes through. Ah, oh, nothing but slop. Wouldn't feed this crap to a dog. I'm down for a burger run. Nobody leaves until we get the money. There's too many prying eyes around here. No wonder these people are so weak. 
we have to do something right now. No matter what they say, they, we've seen their faces and they're gonna, they're gonna kill us after they get the money. We have to fight back. There's no other choice. Hey, what are you two talking about? <clears throat> you know, uh, if we don't show up for work tomorrow, people are gonna start to wonder what happened. I changed all your social media posts. You're staying in Hawaii another week. Because it's just so beautiful. And I used your cell phone to text your coworkers. Gave them the good news. I get the impression that we're not wanted here, Brian. Is that because you think you're better than we are? You just hadn't got to know us yet. <laughs> I know you. Yeah, you're always playing the victim because the system's rigged against you, right? Yep. I mean, you're going to get yours by any means necessary. Oh, that gives you a right to steal. It's called survival, Brian. This world ain't long for people who can't fend for themselves. You're no different than animals. Bunch of thieves and, and drug addicts. Drug addicts? You don't know what you're talking about. I've had just about enough. You people think you can preach from your throne in your high-class neighborhood? You've been living in a fantasy world, girl. And it's time to wake up. Look out! <laughs> Tell us about that safe, Brian. Yeah, Brian. You know that safe hidden by all those fancy shoes. How could you possibly wear all those shoes? Yeah. I want the combination. It's a biometric lock. It only opens with our fingerprints. Okay, well, I could either cut off your fingers or you come upstairs with me. It's your choice. Come on. Come on. What's wrong? I need, I, I need my inhaler. Come on, let's go. What happened? Try to call 911. I'm after tame oh. this wild one. Remember that guy back in Gainesville? Woo! I broke him. Listen, I'll open the safe. Just please don't hurt him. Nope. It's too late. We're going upstairs and Brian's gonna learn a little lesson. Let's go. Man, it's a hot one today. I sure would want to be you. I bet this attic is 120 degrees. Let's see. Whew. <laughs> it is hot in here. Come on in. Welcome to your new home. Bank manager's calling. You better hope it's good news. Hello? Is it Styles? Uh, Christopher Buckley, uh, Tahunga Valley Bank. Yes, um, Mr. Buckley. Yes, I was able to secure the funds you need in cash, so you can stop by any time tomorrow after two. Thank you very much. Glad to be of help. I'll see you then. We got it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes a whiner, Brian. <laughs> hey, you have yourself a good day. What we got in here? Oh. You really do have asthma, don't you? Me a little sip. Me a little sip, Brian. Too bad. I'll see you in a couple hours. Uh, 
or more. This one's gonna be easy. Where is Brian? What did he do to him? Looks like he's gonna sweat it out up in the attic for a while. Maybe he'll learn to cooperate. It's 90 degrees outside. He suffers from asthma. You can't do that. We can take this as far down the line as you want. Your choice. You're sick. It's your turn, honey. Let's go check out that safe. Come on. Come on, let's go. It's okay. Move her to lose it. It's okay, baby. After you. How you doing, princess? You must be hungry. Get away from me. You know you want it. Come on. Come on. Look at. two of us. Lisa, you look smarter than your husband. I don't think you're gonna do anything stupid, are you? Because my knife is really sharp. Yeah. That's of course you want to. Mm -mm. No? Now open it. Put it down. Put it down! <laughs> you keep surprising me. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Shit, done that. Shh. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Quiet. Now. You stay put. You stay put. Okay. If you scream, I will cut your throat. You understand? <laughs> Say yes. you can find something else to wear in here. What's this? This isn't worth anything. I like it. We only keep what we can sell. That's all. My mom doesn't care what we keep. I do. Look, we're all getting tired of the act, Marsha. It's time to grow up and listen for once. What are you looking at? Trust me, honey. You ain't gonna miss any of this stuff. It's a nice ring you got there, Lisa. He must really love you. April, <laughs> baby, I'm okay. Look at me, I'm okay. Don't worry. Tie her up. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm sorry. Get up. 
Ah. Uh. You don't have to point that thing at us. We're not gonna do anything. You're right, you're not. Watch them. If you do anything that screws up this money, I will kill you. Oh, babe, don't go and go and jealous on me. You know my way, I was just trying to break her. Next time, I'll tell you. There won't be a next time. My husband needs his inhaler. Yeah, not my problem. Could you please bring him some water at least? Oh, he's probably roasting and toasting up there. Maybe this time he'll listen to the rules. I'll go check on him, if that's OK with you. You know, I've been thinking a lot about that ring, Lisa. Get up. Ah, uh, no! That's a big one. Hmm, this is how rich people show their love. Oh, what a waste of money. But I'll bet it's worth a lot. You'll never know the love of a man you can trust. At least my husband loves me enough to give me a ring. What do you have? Shut up. What do you know about us? I know what your husband wants. You think you're better than me? Huh? You had just about everything until you got greedy and wanted more. And your husband lost it all. He could be up there dying. And all you care about is this stupid ring. It's typical. What kind of mother teaches her daughter evil? You are sick and depraved. No. Wear your wake-up call. Something even your little locks couldn't keep out. Stronger than you look. Look here, Brian. I want you to know something. I just had a nice little visit with your wife. <laughs> you recognize this? <laughs> I figured you for a Second Amendment type. You want the bullet or the knife? Or are you going to behave? Come on. Come on. Brian? Brian, on are you OK? Y'all pray while you're down there. He's panning like a dog. Dog looks thirsty. That's a good idea. Hand me that water. OK. Honey, give me that bowl over there. This ought to be good. Come on, Brian. We're going to get you to bark. Here you go. Come on. <laughs> Heel no, dog no, on doggy. No, 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 no. Ease up. No barky, no treat. Please. Please you gotta stop. The bag Please. Like a good dog. Don't make me hit you now. Come on. Oh, Come on. Bark. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Bark, dog. Bark. Bark, bark, yes. bark. Stop. Come Please. on, bark. Come on, Just Brian. do what they say, Brian. Bark, dog. Bark, Brian. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> what kind of bark was that? Come on. Come on now. Yeah. Bark, 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 bark. You want me to hit you? Brian, no, come bark, on. Bark, bark. Dog. bark. Dog. Just bark. Brian, bark. just do what they say. Just bark, Brian. <laughs> 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 Heal, heal. Good boy. 
Brian, are you all right, honey? <laughs> hey, what's wrong with our dog? Damn it. Get him. Get him his inhaler now. Get him his inhaler. Give it to him. Give it to him. Hurry up. Ask nicely. Please give him his inhaler. This is not funny. Give it to me. Breathe. Breathe. That was the best dog impression I've ever heard. <laughs> best in show, Brian. <laughs> you want another hit, Brian? That's enough. Leave him alone. She's the only one that wants you anyway. <laughs> Poor doggy. <laughs> Well, uh, that got me hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna make some dinner. Upstairs, let's go. Come on. Up. Come on. It's right up the stairs, princess. Ah, oh, I don't feel good. Can I please use the bathroom down here? Really? Mm hmm Go ahead, just keep the door open. Let's get this party started. Well, Lisa's been a bad little girl. Oh. So there needs to be some consequences. Take your clothes off, man. <laughs> well, can't take a bath without taking clothes off, isn't that right? Sounds okay. right to me. Hey, any y'all care to help him out? You? You? All right, Brian. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> Drip. Take them off. Go on. I'm so, so sorry. Come on, Brian. That's it. That's it. Take it all off now. Oh, Brian. When's the last time you were at the gym? I'm sorry. Blinded by the light. You need to get back in the sun, man. Girls don't watch this part now. <laughs> all right, get in the tub. Get in the Please tub. Don't hurt him. Come on. I said, get in the tub. Now get on your knees. On your knees. Uh -uh. Now, it's gonna be a little wet. Okay. Now, we're not gonna have any more problems tomorrow at the bank, are we? I sure hope not. Yeah! Stop! Get out! Come on! Don't look at him! He's a fish! He's a fish! Stop. Sorry! Let him go! Oh, all right, come on! I need you to know that we're serious. Get down! Do one more time, Brian. Oh. Oh, please! Yeah, Brian. Go for it, Brian. Oh, we got Michael Phelps over here. <laughs> Believe her. Ah, probably not. She's a liar just like her husband. <laughs> Let's show him how much of a liar she really is. And now, it's story time. Tonight's story is a story about love, or should I say of one night of lust.
enough. You're gonna get your money. Why do this? Because I can, and you pissed me off. Tonight's story is a story about a woman who lived a perfect little life, <laughs> or so we thought. But everyone has secrets. What is she talking about? Oh, this is your wifey's little diary. I came across it while I was helping myself to some knickknacks up in that very hot attic. Peter's hand touched my waist, and I didn't push him away. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I had too much champagne. But he kissed me with a passion I had not felt in a long time. I feel guilty to say, but I enjoyed it. Oh, no. Lisa. Well, don't stop now. It's just getting juicy. We made love. It was exciting, passionate, and I felt alive again. When it was over, we knew it was a mistake and agreed never to tell anyone. This Peter guy must be some neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> you accused me of never knowing the love of a man I could trust. Well, it looks like your man can't trust you. There are no happy endings, even in suburbia. Time for bed. I know I'm gonna sleep good. Just in case you were thinking of running off during the night. Really sucks to be you. When did you cheat on me with Peter? Three years ago. You were on a business trip in New England. We had a fight. You said you wanted a divorce. <laughs> That's your excuse. There's no excuse for what happened. What she didn't read about is the torment and the guilt that I have felt every day since. It was the worst mistake of my life, Brian. I'm so sorry. How long did it go on? It was just the one time. I didn't plan it, I swear. It just happened. So what? You were, you were just never going to tell me about it. I had, to, I had to find out from that demented woman in there just so she could she could humiliate my family even more than she already has. I said I'm sorry. God, I've been calling Peter my friend this entire time. It's just... It's like a... It's a nightmare that never ends. I love you. Nothing's gonna change that. I don't even know what to say. Please. I promise you this, though. I want to get these bastards one way or the other. Hey, do I hear talking in there? watching everything on this camera. So don't even think about trying anything stupid. Put this in your ear so you can hear me when you're inside. Tell me if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Pick 
picture is fine. Mike, keep your cell phone. I'll be using the app so we can talk. I got it. You're driving. Hey, Lisa. Take a good look at your family. Because if you screw this up, that's going to be the last time you ever see them. Let's go. You're gonna drop me off half a block from the bank. If I even suspect that you're trying to alert someone, I'll call Mike and your family will die. You don't have to say it again, I know. You're gonna get what you want, okay? Oh, I usually do. Then what? You'll never see us again. You're gonna just let us go? Absolutely. Go back out to the street, drive around the parking lot, park on that side of the building. After you get the cash, pick me back up here. If at any time we lose signal, I will assume you have alerted someone and your family dies. Please stop saying that I'm doing what you want, okay? Go. So far, so good. Okay, babe. I'm excited. Yeah, get excited when we have the money. Where's the bag? You forgot the bag. Lisa, get the damn bag now. <sighs> Sorry, I'll get it. Mrs. Styles is here. Mrs. Styles. Mr. Buckley. Please, come in, sit down. Yes, I know. It's quite a sight. $340,000. Yeah, quite a sight. So we got some paperwork we got to deal with here. I'll need you to fill out this withdrawal slip and sign it, please. Okay. How was your vacation? Hawaii, right? Yes, Maui. It was beautiful. <laughs> Are you okay? You're fine. Act naturally. Yeah, I'm just nervous. Of course, of course. I have to ask as a matter of policy, are you a victim of a fraud or scam, or are you withdrawing this money against your own free will? No one is forcing you to do this, correct? Answer him now. No, this is my choice. Is there a problem, honey? I don't know yet. Now, I've already filled out a cash transaction report as required by law and a suspicious activity report for the IRS, which is required for all exchanges over $10,000. So, yeah, please count the money. There are 34 stacks of $100 bills. Each stack is $10,000 for a total of $340,000. And I'll go get your receipt.
Where did it go? Is there a problem with the money? No, there is no problem. He just stepped out. What's going on? Does she have the money? Yeah, she's got it, but something's off. Just be ready in case something happens. If you're not outside in five minutes, your family dies. Hurry up. Mike, she double-crossed us. Get ready to kill them. Wait, 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 stop! Stop it! Stop it! Mr. Buckley, did you call the police? Yes, yes, as a precaution. You, know, you really didn't need to do that. We aren't having a problem here. No, no, stop! Wait, stop it! Wait, just us. Look, I'll do anything you want, okay? Oh, no, they were more than happy to help. Get rid of the cops now. You know, I really don't need the cops. Cry for me, and I'll let you go first. Cry, Brian. Okay? <laughs> you want me to do her first? Stop it! She goes first! Put it on me! She's going first! Put the gun on me! Come on! Can you ask him to leave? Well, they're here already. Maybe you can talk to them yourself. I said cry, Brian! Cry! Okay, fine. I'll ask them to leave. It really wasn't necessary for you to call them in the first place. As you wish, Mrs. Stiles. I was just trying to help. Mike, hold on for a minute. Officers, this is Mrs. Stiles. Afternoon, ma'am. If you want, we can uh, follow you to the city limit. Um, no. That's quite all right. Thank you so much for your time. Mr. Buckley, thank you again. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. She's pulling out now. I don't think the cops are following. All right, we're set. She's on our way. Looks like we got everything. Start getting ready to leave. I'll be there in half an hour. Okay, see you soon. Keep an eye on these guys while I go pack up my stuff. If your mom says kill them, kill them. Drive. So now you let us go, right? That was our deal. Our deal? Just drive. Don't run any red lights or do anything stupid. We're still alive and the gun's loaded. Hey, what are you doing? Can I pay you to go away with my share of the money? Your share. Stop acting like a spoiled princess and stick to the plan. We only take things we can sell, you know that. Hey, where are you going? To get some food for the trip. No, you can get it when you get there. I'm not eating at that grease pit again. Apple pie a la crap. Too bad, get upstairs, pack your clothes and strip the sheets, let's go. She's gonna be here any minute, let's go. Chop, chop. Come on. Woohoo! Look what the cat dragged in. How'd it go? As planned. No problems? 
Ashley is a good girl. Oh. Ah. She better be. What does 300 grand look like? Come to Papa. <laughs> Woo! Freedom! Who is it? It's Peter. The neighbor? Yeah, the homewrecker. So what? Don't answer it. He saw us drive up. Well, he knows somebody's here. Well, then let's go. We've all got a long drive. What? Where are we going? Somewhere the cops won't find you guys for a while, so we have a chance to get away. Be happy. You're almost free. Let's get ready. Brian, leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Thanks. It's close. It's close. I'm almost there. Let's go, everybody. Hurry up. <clears throat> Nothing here but the coyotes. Uh, uh, is this where you're letting us go? Yeah. We're just going to take a walk first. No, no. Get in the van. Why? Because I said so. It's been real, princess. April. Come here. April. Mm. You okay?
Get on your knees. I said, on your knees. This is all your fault, Brian. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. You got a lot of nerve, you know that? <laughs> I've got a lot of nerve. <laughs> you were the one who was cheating on me. Do you remember that? Well, you stole all of our dreams with your <laughs> stupid investments. You'd think they'd be begging for their lives rather than arguing. I know, right? But I love it. Oh, she was right. You're greedy. Stop fighting. What is wrong with you two? Are you finished? Are you finished? <laughs> yes, finally. The neighbor! Family on our street, can you please give us a ride in the city? Sure. Thank uh, you. Get in. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. You all right? Thank you. You said that your registered firearm was stolen during the robbery. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he. He uh, took it from my safe. And your neighbor, Mr. Peter Levy, why was he out there with you in the desert? Um, well, he must have seen us leave and then decided to follow us. We don't really know what happened after we heard the gunshots. The Sheriff's Department found the area that you described and located his car. They also found him a short distance away. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but he's dead. Gunshot wounds. How long had you known him? Um, almost 11 years. He bought the house down the street from us shortly after we bought ours. Detective Blum, we'd really like to just go back home. Is that all right? Your house is a crime scene at the moment. Our guys should be finished up later tonight. You're just going to have to wait. We're also going to need your DNA and fingerprints to check against anything else we may find in the house. Detective Carboni will help you take care of that. safe here anymore. Everything's real. No, it's not. 
No, no, look, that's exactly how they want us to feel. And if we start feeling that way, then they've won. This is, this is still our home. Hey, I know it's gonna take some time, but we're safe now. I'm going to my room. It's bad enough what these people did to us in our home. Now we have to just go through the indignity of having the cops tearing our house apart. Oh, I want to make these people pay for what they did. Just let the police handle it, okay? They're gonna find them. Is there anything that they didn't take? <laughs> We've still got each other. They didn't take that. Yeah. Styles was about to declare bankruptcy, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Huge debts. But wasn't his wife about to come in with some money to sell that painting? Yeah, her commission was about a hundred grand, but the family's debt was north of half a million. So she went to the bank and withdrew three hundred and forty thousand dollars, but most of that belonged to her client. Maybe this home invasion store is a cover-up. She steals her client's money and pays off the debts. Maybe. But what about the murder of Peter Levy? I mean, what's that got to do with this? Let's dig deeper. There's definitely more going on here. You got it. work? Ugh. Chaotic. I can't... I can't focus. The locksmith is almost finished. Did you, uh, go into the gallery today? No. Detective Flynn called and said he's on his way here. Why? Did he find some? Didn't say. Hey, I'm gonna go to Kim's to hang out, okay? Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. Don't worry. Kim's dad's gonna be there. He'll protect me. I love you both. We love you too, babe. Be safe, honey. Someone just logged onto my Socialize account. Didn't you change your password? Not yet. What the, does it list the area where it came from? Mill Springs? Never heard of that. Change your password right now. Wait a minute. Do you think it could be them? I mean, maybe they're trying to log onto my account to see if I've posted any updates about the case. It's possible. Afternoon, detectives. Afternoon. Come on in. Afternoon, Mr. South. Hello, Mrs. Stiles. Detective, did you find anything? Actually, we came to ask you both why you didn't tell us about the affair between you, Mrs. Stiles, and Peter Levy. Your journal was logged in as evidence. Don't you think that's an important fact in this case? <sighs> uh, actually, we didn't think much about it. We've been trying to put all that behind us. 
I see, but you can understand Mr. Levy was killed with your gun, and somehow he ended up out in the woods with you. No, I explained that my gun was taken in the robbery. Are you, wait, are you accusing us of murder? I didn't say that, Mr. Stiles. But if we're going to catch these people, we will need your complete cooperation. You have my complete cooperation. Remember, we're the victims here. Well, we'll need you both to come down and talk us through the timeline again. Just to clarify a few things. Yeah, are you asking or telling us? Right now, we're asking. OK. Well, uh, yeah, we'll be there tomorrow with, uh, with our lawyer. That's your right. We'll see you then. Good day. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Sorry, go ahead. Can you believe this? I mean, they haven't found any evidence, so now they're treating us like we're the criminals. We're still being victimized, and those horrible people are getting away with what they did. We're not gonna let them. What? No, we're gonna take care of this ourselves. Ryan, that's crazy. No, they need to suffer exactly like we did. Well, then what? I mean, what, what does that make us? Even. How are we supposed to go on with our lives, huh? Just, just accept what happened and, and, and to hope for an arrest someday? And unless that happens, then what? I mean, I want to tell you right now, there is no amount of prison time that's going to make this right for me. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Do you? Wait, wait, wait. Where did they log in from? Where was, on your socialized account? What was like Mills, I, Mills I, Falls something? I think it was Mills Springs. I don't, <sighs> Mills Springs. It's close. Uh, it's known for the cafe, uh, friendly service, apple pies. God, you know what's strange? Mike and Marcia, they got in this argument right before we left. They, she mentioned something about it, some greasy spoon cafe, something, she mentioned apple pie. Could it be? I mean, what, what are the odds? <sighs> well, not good, but I mean, that's all we got. I mean, it's, that, that, that's about an hour away. Where you like, I'll be right with you. Thank you. Thank you. Seems like a nice little place. Yeah. Coffee? You know, my wife and I were looking at this crazy story in the paper about a local break-in. Have you seen them? Have they, do they come in here? Nope. They don't look familiar. And I work most shifts. Are you with the police? No, no. No, we were just curious. <laughs> Ready to order? Our special today is our Mill Springs burger with rattlesnake hot sauce. Ooh. Um, you know what? We're just going to probably look at the menu for a couple minutes if that's okay. Sure. Great, thank you. This is a waste of time. We've got the whole town to search, okay? Mm. It's April. Hi, honey. Is everything okay? Yeah, but I'm home early. Where are you guys? We're having lunch. Why are you back early? I thought you were gonna stay at Kim's. You're so worried about it. Where are you guys? I'll come meet you. We're just finishing up here at the beach. We just had lunch with a couple of your dad's friends. Why don't you just lock all the doors, okay? And we'll be home soon. Okay. Um, we're still on for dinner tonight, right? Yes. Whatever you want. Okay. Bye, Mom. I love you. Love you, too. Let's just get out of here. This is a dead end, anyway.
up a pile of crap. I'm here to pick up an order for Smith. Okay, just give me a second. Is that their daughter? That'll be $17.96. She looks completely different. That's April's shirt. Are you sure? Positive. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, ma'am, we have to leave, but, uh, uh thank you. Hungry. Took you long enough. Everything go okay? Yeah, no problems. Hey, which one's my pie? Where's my change? Consider it my tip. Next time, get your own pie. I'll be out by the tree. Get a new attitude. How long we want to stay in this dump? As long as we have to. We'll give it a few days. Things die down, we'll try and cross the state line. Well, it's obvious the cops don't have much, otherwise they wouldn't ask for public's help. They're always hoping an informant comes forward. They never do. Zora, is that you? What's going on? Nothing. It's getting cold. I'm gonna go to the van, get my coat. Grab me a beer? Sure.
wife! Time out, time out! Don't you want to eat with us? No. He makes me want to vomit. Your choice. Food's gonna be gone. Where's your gun? Right there, on the, on the counter, there. You! I think so. Go ahead and grab your precious stuff and leave. That's not what this is about. Really? Careful what you wish for. Get on your knees and put your hands behind your back. Get down on your knees! Ah! Give me my ring. Give me my ring, you white trash bitch! different than us. Go ahead. The more you do to us, the more you prove my point. <laughs> but it's already too late. We've already destroyed your perfect little world. No, you <laughs> didn't. You picked on the wrong family. Get away from her now! Take it easy. Mm. Take it easy. Just, just put the gun down. You okay, Mom? Shoot them and untie me. Do it! Shoot them. Mom? Dad? What? What's going Honey. on? Honey. What are you doing here? How did you find me? I found your location, you know? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to get you involved with that thing. Cut your hair. Shirt. Oh my god. I got a splitting headache. You got some aspirin, Brian. You know what I think, Mike? I think you're all barking, no biting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think I want to hear you bark. Mm. Come on, I know you know how to do it. Bark for me. Oh, come on, bark for me, man. Bark. I want you to bark. Come on, you bark for me. Come on, bark. Bark, little doggy. Arr, arr. <laughs> hey, Lisa. It's too bad we never made it. I know you never had a real man. You sh shut up. Except maybe Peter. Shut up. You pull that trigger, Brian. Go ahead, pull that trigger. It's gonna feel so good. Brian? It's gonna feel so good. Pull that Brian? trigger. Do it, Nancy boy! That's enough! Do it, Brian! Do it! Brian! God help me, you better do it. Cause when I get untied, I'm going straight for your daughter. <laughs> uh! Ah! 
Come on. Let's get out of here. You got it? Yeah. Positive ID allows us to move forward and press charges. Murder, robbery, and kidnapping, among other things. And we now know their real names. Riker, Alexia, and Zora Adamson. We're trying to connect them to three other home invasion robberies in two other states. Well, we're just glad you guys caught them before they could hurt anybody else. Yeah, we caught a lucky break. An anonymous tip sent the local cops to where they were hiding out. Where were they? They found him tied up in an abandoned farmhouse about an hour north. Now, we, we thought it was a drug deal that had gone wrong, but we recovered your gun, a lot of your belongings, and the money. It looks like it's mostly all there. That is good to hear. <laughs> Funny thing, they claim that you folks broke in and held them hostage, just like you said they did to you. <laughs> oh, God, that's ridiculous. Oh, I wouldn't believe anything that they say. I mean... How could we ever do something like that? Yeah, that's what I said. Crazy story, right? Yeah. I hope there's no hard feelings. None at all. How did this ever happen to us? I don't know. Things are never going to be the same, are they? It'll be better. You'll see.